Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Halloween makeup tutorial. I'm actually going to be doing a sugar skull. And so I'm not sure what color I'm going to use, but like with practically all my videos, I'm just going to wing it and see what comes up. But I'm, I am going to use some um, paints. I'm going to use some makeup and some paint. Um, the paint that I'm going to use are the Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild. It's in the Snow Queen, this one's Snow Queen, and in Queen of the Dead. I'm going to use these ones, and I'm probably going to be using some of these as well. All of these I got at Target, by the way. Um, and so I might be using these as well. I know I'm going to be using the white for the face paint, and this was a dollar. And so that one, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using red, but I have red, black, and some green just in case. So let's see how this comes out, all right? <laughs> so let's just get started. I'm going to start off by priming my face and my eyelids. For my eyelids, I'm using the Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer. And for my face, I'm using the Tarte BB Tooth Tribute Primer in the shade Light. Next, I'm using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk to draw on the eyes. I'm just putting circles around my eyes, basically. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild palette in Snow Queen, and I'm taking the blue color. I'm just taking a regular like um, paintbrush, and I'm just putting it all over my eyelids. Next, I'm going to put it under my eyelids, and I'm um, basically on the top portion of my eye above my brow. Next, I'm taking the fuchsia color and an e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm basically just drawing on my eyebrows and then I'm going to extend it down on both sides of my eyebrows and then I'm going to fill in the top form. I'm basically going to do like a half moon with my brow bone. Next, I'm going in with my Coastal Scents, Coastal Scents Shimmer Palette. I'm taking this blue shade. I'm taking a Sigma E35 brush and just putting it all over the blue. Next, I'm going to take another E35 brush and take this purple color and place it atop of the fuchsia. Basically, just setting the cream color that I used. Next, I'm taking this black color from the same Coastal Sense palette and I'm just going to use this to shade the outer portions of the circle. Basically giving it an almost three-dimensional look. Next, I'm going to take the white cream makeup that I got from Target. This was a dollar. Um, as you're going to see, it's not that opaque. Again, it's a dollar. But um, I'm basically just going to build it up. And then you're going to see that I'm, instead of using a brush, I'm going to be using a wedge. Just to see if I can get, because with the brush, you could see the brush strokes. So I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't that visible.
Next, I'm just putting the white cream makeup on my neck. Now you want to put the white cream anywhere your skin is going to be showing. That way you don't see your skin and instead you see white. Next, I'm going to be setting the cream makeup with the Makeup Forever HD powder and I'm using the Sigma F20 brush. Next, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Covet Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Noir. And I'm just, Noir I guess? <laughs> and I'm just going to basically make like whimsical lines just to make it a little bit more whimsical and pretty. Now this doesn't have to be perfect um, because we are going to go over it with the NYC Liquid Liner in the shade Black. Now for here you can do any design you want. This is what I just came up with because it, it was easy. Um, instead of doing a cross, I decided to do like kind of like... I want to say like a star, but it's not really a star, so yeah. Now uh, on those lines, I'm going to make um, the ends a little bit thicker because I'm going to go in with the colored eyeliner later. Next, I'm using the same liquid liner just to outline the eyes. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect, so don't even worry about it. Now, going with the same pencil eyeliner, I'm going to be drawing in the nose socket. I'm um, basically just going to be outlining it, and then I'm going to be filling in it with the NYC liquid liner. And now to set it, I'm just going to be using the same black eyeshadow that I used for my eyes. Now back with the pencil eyeliner, I'm just going to make lines on my lips just to make the teeth marks and I'm also going to extend this on my cheek. And now I'm going over it with a liquid eyeliner. And now I'm putting the eyeliner all over my lips just to make it more like a dead look. Now I'm setting my lips with a little bit of the black eyeshadow. Now I'm going with the same eyeshadow we used on the top portion of my eye. And I'm just going to put it all over my lips and the black shadow as well just to give a little bit depth. Use the same 
purple and blue eyeshadows just to give you a gradient. Now I'm filling in the things with the Extreme Blue NYX eyeliner. And now it's time for the Extreme Purple, the same exact liner. <laughs> For my chin, I just did an outline of a lotus flower, and next I'm going to use the same blue and purple that I used on my eyes and just a little bit of the black eyeshadow just to give it some color. And then I'm going to outline it with the same black liquid liner. I'm going with this adhesive rhinestones that I got from Target. I'm taking the purple and just putting it on the center of my star and then some blue, some black, I'm sorry, on my nose and then just here and there. Taking this brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to use the black shadow just to put like a scallop um, edge on my eyes um, just to give it that traditional look. Now what I'm doing, I'm just placing the side of the brush on my skin just to give it that scallop effect. Next I'm using the NARS Via Veneto eyeliner just to line my waterline and tight line. For my lashes, I'm using Benefit Their Real Mascara. Next, I'm taking a dotting tool um, and some black cream makeup. If you don't have a dotting tool, you can use a toothpick, a bobby pin, just to make little dots here and there. I decided to give this a little, like, I don't know, feminine look, I guess. Next, I'm adding a rhinestone to my cupid's bow and on the bottom of my lotus flower. And this is the final look for my sugar skull. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment if you liked it or not. And again, if you ever try any of my looks out, please tag me or hashtag Steph Enchanted because I would love to see them. I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys in my next video.